the physical destruction of the Titanic and Gustloff unfolded at dramatically different speeds, revealing how engineering vulnerabilities translated into life or death minutes for those aboard. When the Titanic's hull met ice, the damage appeared deceptively minor. Passengers on deck barely registered the collision, some even playfully kicking fallen ice chunks across the forward well deck. Below the waterline, the Atlantic poured in at an estimated 7 tons per second through a series of ruptures, spanning multiple compartments. The initial inspection by the fourth officer found so little visible damage that he reported all was well, a misunderstanding that cost precious evacuation time. It took Thomas Andrews, the ship's designer, to deliver the mathematical certainty that contradicted this assessment. The damage was unsurvivable. The Titanic's two-hour and 40-minute sinking allowed time for human drama to unfold, for heroism, sacrifice, and the realities of class differences to manifest. The flooding followed a sequential pattern, with water spilling over each compartment bulkhead into the next, gradually pulling the bow downward while the stern rose. This relatively slow process gave time for evacuation, however imperfect. The Gustloff, by contrast, succumbed in under an hour.